everyone and welcome to an episode of Jurassic World the game. <gasps> Is it becoming a weekly series? Well, possibly. Depends if they keep on updating. But today we have good news. Now I think, oh, world event boss, congratulations. Oh, did I? I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't participate in that. But you know what? I'll take, I'll take it. I'll take the hundred bucks because. You know, books is kind of a commodity in this game. We kind of need it, don't we? Uh, so 130, that's not bad. Uh, for free, especially. But the main reason why we're here today is because if we look in here, the new hybrid is here. Fused Hyneria and Helicoprion, or Helicoprion, to create the new aquatic hybrid, Hynco Hynecoprion. Oh, he's a fishy. Does it have like a buzzsaw jaw? Oh, it does! Look at that with its like spiky mouth. That's cool. Okay. So, you'll be very excited to know that if you don't have Hyneria, um, compete in battle to unlock the aquatic creature. Now, Hyneria, is it a new thing? Oh, you could just get it right now. Oh, it's a legendary. Oh, oh, look at that. Is it aquatics only? It is aquatics only. I got a good idea. So, normally we, you know. When a new hybrid comes out, normally it's a tournament creature. And when the tournament, you know, when the, hi the hybrid comes out, then it's like, oh, here's the new tournament coming this weekend or something. Uh, it's two or three days. You can unlock at least half of it. But this is a hybrid I like to see. A hybrid that is not made by tournament creatures. In fact, a legendary and a super rare, which is absolutely brilliant. So if we oh, just do our quickly daily rounds, you know, collect this, we're going to make the new hybrid. And depending, because I now have all of my, my free my free speed ups, I also have all of my, uh, oh god, look at the hair, it's beautiful, isn't it? look at it, all flicky. Uh, so not only do I have all, all things to make it, but I, th I have enough books and I have all of my VIP stuff ready to go, so we can, we can pretty much get like a level 30 I think, a level 30 hands down, this could be pretty easy, because I think I get four free hatches, yes I do. So already that is two level 20s making a level 30. And if I wanted to, I think that's 250 uh, books each. So that's a thousand books to make a level 30, which is a bargain. Normally to it, like instantly hatch it, it's going to be 1,300, 1,600, something ridiculous like that. So it's probably better we don't get level 40. But like I said, when it comes to these level 30s, it's always, oh, sorry, uh, hybrids. It's always better to get a level 20 minimum because your hybrid is probably not going to be better than your, you know, the things you fuse to make it. Um, yes, we're doing, we're doing a good job here with the hair. Uh, <laughs> I know it's what you come here for, isn't it? Just hair cow. We need hair cow. Yes. Uh, so you know what? I'll trade the coin for the food. We'll do that. Um, and because we have all of these decorations, heck yeah! Oh, woo, we have that new, uh, the new thingy majiggy. So let's go add that before I accidentally sell it. <laughs> uh, where is it? We're going to here, going to decorations. Haha, seven percent. Join the turtles. Look, I have two of these turtles. I don't even know how I did the look, look at all these boss statues. Good lord. I think so ever since the start, I want to say I've never missed out on a single boss trophy. And look at all this. I, I think the dodo as well was its own, and then they just sort of gave away some as well. Um so we've also got ten thousand super DNA. Or should I say B DNA, like boss DNA. For when the next one, or the next one comes. But let's have a look. Let's refresh these. So, ah, okay, okay. Well, well, well. We'll be right back. <laughs> and we're back. Hello. Right. Let's. Okay. Let's just see if it's okay. Didn't do it this time. Well, let's let's refresh. Oh, coin. I love coin. Uh, you know what? Ah, two million food. Sure. Why not? So we're down a hundred bucks so far with doing this. We just need one John Hammond statue. There is one for, you know, a million food, so that's not too bad if you need food right now. Rest of it's pretty damn awful. And the final one, down 150 bucks. Sometimes this is the way the cookie crumbles. And yeah, we didn't get anything but food. Down 150 bucks. You, like I said, normally it just takes one John Hammond statue to get 300 bucks. So that's, you know, two days worth of refreshing. And you're more, more likely you're going to get like a couple of bucks here and there for training for mods or some other decorations. So, uh, let's just quickly collect all of those. Oh, not collect all of those. Right, let's go into... Actually, I don't need to go in here. That's a Cenozoic. We'll go into here, into the visitor center. Remember that place? Yes. And we will select hybrids. And so I do have a couple hybrids. You know, the lead Zichthys and Lyplurodon one I don't have. 
uh, the Geosaur and Elasmosaur, I don't have either. Um, but this is, you know, this is a pretty decent one. The other one was two le- Oh, wait, that was two legendaries. The Lysotheodon. And this one is actually a legendary and a freaking uh, super rare. So, hmm, okay, okay. So here it is. I think it's a cavern. Now, that's not too bad. Most things in the aquatic are, what do you call it? Um, surface. That's it. I remember what they're called. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll say goodbye to Hyneria. Sorry, Hyneria. Bye-bye. And we'll instant fuse you. Uh, oh, thousand. So, eh, well, you know, could be worse. And also, we've got a code 19 ready. Oh, somebody's got a code 19. Ah, yes, because that's exactly what a fish would do. Yes, beautiful. And there it is. Look at it. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, hold on. Close your eyes, guys. We're going to take a couple of screenshots here. Yes, it'd probably be very pixely anyway. The thing is, that's the reason why I do it. Because if we look in here, it's really dark. And before, you know, we'll just get this code 19 out of the way. Because the freaking noise, like, dun, 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 it'll just be like that until the whole time, until we send Owen to go get it. However, this one is for 10. And we don't turn 10, we don't turn down 10 super DNA, no. Uh, no, we miss that one. The, the annoying thing is, if you miss one, and it's not the first one you miss, you go down two, basically, because you go down one, but then if you got it, you would have went up one. So you've, you've technically just went down two, so it sucks. It's like, ah, if I hit that one, makes so much of a difference. It puts you two behind um, a perfect score. So let's see. So I would, I'd be one click away now to winning. So I just have to do this once. But I have to do it three times because I didn't get it. But then again, it was only 150. And all matters, one of the better hybrids, which is very weird how I didn't get much for that. So... The Hynocorpion, look at you. If I'm going to zoom in a little bit much. It looks like a proper speedy fish, like. This was Hyneria and Helicoprion. And it looks almost like 100% like a fish. Except for it has a, a million flippers. Fish have that many fins, do they? I don't, I think, I don't know. Look at it, though. Hold on, we got to get close. Can we zoom in? That's as close as I can get. Look at his face. Oh, pretty. Yes, it looks stupid. <laughs> so, Creature Facts 1. The Hynocorpion is a very large fish with a unique facial structure. Thanks, Ludia. I, I definitely couldn't get gather that from uh, looking at it. But here we go, level 9. Let's see it's eating anime. Ooh, it's like a fish. A fish eat fish world. There's always a bigger fish. Oh, that jaw is... I don't know if it's made for eating fish, is it? It's very precise. If it, if it buzzed backwards. That'd be great, because you wouldn't even have to chew. It would just funnel everything down into your gob. Into your gob. So 1,363 health, and an attack of 639. Now, I couldn't tell you, because I've forgotten, if that was even better than uh, than the, what we've hybridized, the Hyneria. Um, but what we will do is we will uh, do another Code 19. Um, we'll just quickly do one of these. Oh, it's just, just a quick one. Oh, it's a Gorgo. Okay. Oh, it's a hard one. I don't like these ones. I'm terrible. But we got a perfect. It, it, there we go. Oh, it's so funny. Like, I posted um, a Hungry Shark evolution video yesterday. So hopefully this video goes up tonight. We'll see. Um, and everybody, or at least like, the top, like some of the top comments, or at least one of the top comments, was, oh, did anyone else just get a flood of nostalgia from the thumbnail? Because, <laughs> I mean, I knew exactly. It was like, when it comes to Jurassic World, uh, Jurassic World Evolution, I guess that there's, there's so many things with the same name, damn it! Like when it comes to Hungry Shark Evolution, or Hungry Shark World, there's like two thumbnails I do. It's either like the unlocked screen, or it's like a cool like fight between things, like a breaking the surface. What I want the game to really be like. Um, and I, I, it's just people are just so used to it. And it's, it's, it's been ages since Evolution and World have really <clears throat> either put out a new game or put out enough content where I make multiple videos. So every time somebody sees a video, um, it's like, oh, I remember that. But also with this series, people are like, oh, I used to watch this all the time. So this is basically a podcast for you, I think, at this point. Like, you don't even look at what I'm doing, do you? You're just kind of like, oh, there he is. Look at him go. <laughs> right. So let's unlock this thing. Seeing as we get a guaranteed 500 buckaroos. Right now at level 10, where does it stack? Right, there it is. Um, this isn't technically the best creature to use, if I'm gonna be honest. Um, 
You know what? We need it level 20. Okay, let's let's get it level 20. Let's get level 20 before we use it. So evolve, go to market. 36,000 is about just under Pritrodon. And yeah, for 3,000 basically uh, less DNA, um, you only lose 80 attack, but you do lose 1,400 health. But we need to attack you care about. So, you know what? That's not too bad. So, we'll go instant hatch because, God, no, we're not doing anything else. Because otherwise, it would be thousands of books. Instant fuse it. Heck yeah. Only 280 this time. To make us like 1,000, 280 this time. So, here we go. Uh, we'll get it to level 20. 2,335 health and 1,094 attack. It, it puts it around about usable uh, in the battle I'm about to do. Which is good because we need to use it. Um, but it's not, like, amazing, I wouldn't say. So, fuse two legendary creatures. Oh, there you go. Uh, funny, I did that all the time. Right, so now it's level 20. Does it? Oh, it's stacked up a lot higher. Uh, but as you can see, the Gilicus, or Gilicus, that we used for Jurassic Park build, if anyone remembers that episode, when it attacked me at the last bit, I think it was, or something like that. <laughs> um, it basically has double health and almost double attack. So... I do want to use it though. I, I really do. I want to use it at level 20. Oh, oh, hold on. I got a phone call. Two seconds, guys. She just rang to say she loved me. Ah, oh, I know she didn't. She was just asking what time I was leaving. <laughs> right, okay. So, really, the best thing for this is just surface. Um, so, we'll start with Hainasaur. And then I guess I'll go for. We'll, we'll put Heiner Copburn in. Why not? And then we'll put Mega Archelon in. It's not outstanding. But we will definitely use it. Um, now, what is your attack? Okay, your attack's only 2,000. Okay, so we can go for reserve and we'll be okay. We have to do four battles of this. So that is a lot of battles. Um, and, you know, we, we can use high kind of Corpion or whatever it is again. Um, so I'm go, going to go for two block here, making sure that he can't kill me. Because if he went for reserve, he'd only have three. But he doesn't. He only has two, and he can't touch me. Oh, he tries it. Oh, you hate to see it. Right, so one, two. Kills it, and I can go for two reserve here. He's probably, I mean, there's nothing you can do. Everything's uh, nerfed. So, yeah, I think Hainosaurus could pro I didn't even need Mega Arkle on that. Look at it. Um, I am underestimated the power of Hainosaurus. I did factor in one, so that's good. And in comes the Orden Catfish. Woohoo! Right, who probably can kill me in four. Uh, oh, goes for five. Wow. Okay, well, he did have six. He's got one block. And in it comes! Yes! Okay, we're going to see it's like six animation. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll not, I'll not speed up and let's have a look at this. <laughs> it's like giving kisses. Oh, look at it. The new fish. I'm, it's gonna do that. Um, nom. Oh no, no, it doesn't. Oh, there it is. Um, nom, nom. So pretty. Right. Okay. So we have another code 19. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's a, it's a 10. Oh, it's the Monog Allosaurus or Allonogamus. It's the Monogamus dinosaur. Kids, you don't know what that is. You could ask your parents. It's not bad. I don't think. If, as long as I remember it, I understand it correctly, what that means. Yes. It's polyamorous, which is bad. Or technically, and we don't judge here. You can do whatever you want. But but as long as it's not legal, don't do that. Yes. <laughs> Quickly, back to some dinosaurs. Yes, hello. <laughs> remember me? Remember, remember me? Remember, like, Jurassic Park Builder? Oh, that was good. But remember that? Remember when you went to school and you didn't have to worry about, like, all this new stuff you have to deal with? I remember. <laughs> I will pull on your nostalgia strings. Uh, speaking of nostalgia, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do a Japanese lesson today. Okay, children, you want to learn what nostalgic is in Japanese? No, but you're going to learn it anyway. Uh, it is natsukashi. There you go. It's basically, it's easy, because it's like nostalgia, natsukashi. There you go. I think that's right anyway. Probably be wrong. Uh, so 36,000 will instantly hatch it for 250. Uh, pop you in. And then hatch another one for another 250. And pop it in. And then do you... Oh, that's right, because I didn't have to hatch anything, did I? 
uh, with the first hybrid. No, I didn't know. Oh, okie dokie. Right, so that takes this to a level 20, and then we'll fuse this up to a level friggin' 30. Oh, we get some lovely colors. <gasps> 2,878 health and 1,349 attack. So I think it got an extra 200 to 400 health for it. Jesus. The big jump. Okay, let's get level 30 and a 3,559 health and 1,668 attack. Oh, look at it. Oh, now it's definitely a level 40. Oh, it's one of the best creatures. Not the best, but it's one up. It's, 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 it's up there. It's up there. Oh, also, uh, let's collect these. Uh, the tooth whirl of the helicopter appears in a modified yet gigantic version in the Hynacoprion. Hy oh, okay. Yeah, because... When Just Park Builder came out, Helicopterians, uh, what we thought Helicopterian was, was its jaw went underneath it and it, like, flicked out to catch fish or something ridiculous. But now we know it was just, like, coiled around inside its mouth to look like this. And the thing is, when it comes to scientific discovery, that'll probably be outdated in another couple of years. It'll be like, no, 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 it was sideways and it buzzed around like a saw, like something on like Robot Wars. <laughs> right, a hundred bucks, yes! Uh, the result of this mashup is a sawtooth shark that can, sort of, Walk on land. Nightmare fuel. So Hyneria, I think it was hypothesized that it could um, walk on land, which was shown in Walking with Monsters. I think, however, this was disproven. Um, now, I, I don't quote me on that, but I'm a lot of things in Walking with Monsters, Walking with Dinosaurs have changed over the years. And Hyneria, even though it had like exceptional like frontal dorsal fins, whatever you want to call them, like muscles, I don't think it was proven that it could actually go on land. It was just a theory. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like with the Jim, Jim Kirkland. It was like, uh, what was the other guy? Raptor Red. Okay, the author. The ne every, I bet whoever's watching from Ludia is like, he never lets us go. Oh my god. <laughs> but they got the, uh, the, or the founder, the, the discoverer. Paleontologist who discovered Utah after wrong. It was actually Jim Kirkland. But thanks to my travel to Utah, we rectified that mistake and now it's all okay. <laughs> so we got three freaking more battles. Um, so Haniri, yes, look at that. Still kind of not usable. Um, you know what it is? Hmm. Humdy humdy hum. Uh, I need to use. I notice here. It's it's reefs. I, I can't use Hanacopion here, so I can't... I, oh, I kind of do want to. I just... For the, for the lols. For the lols. Uh, we'll use Hanacopion. And then we'll use Umunosaurus. There we go. Okay, I think that's... That'll be okay in my roster. Um, yes, I will go for a reserve here. I could go for an attack. Uh, however, I'd still have to go for two to kill him anyway. So, actually, that worked out really well. I like that. That's nice. I like it. Don't you love how something that needs to breathe air is stuck and trapped underwater in this dome? It's a torture dome. It's either you uh, you live long enough to drown, or you or you, you die by one of my creatures. It's brilliant. Uh, so, you're going to have two, so we don't want that other thing to kill us. I like how Hanodis has, like, a sea cucumber for a tail as well, by the way. <laughs> it's brilliant. I love this thing, the sea dragon, the hoofy... Hoof as well. Hoof. Hoof. Because go hoof as well. It looks so cool. It looks badass. I love it like a sea dragon. Like, you know, like um, seahorses that look like they're bits of seaweed. It's really cool. So he went for two. Uh, so I think I can go for three and just kill him. And uh, unfortunately, that's not going to be good for Hynacopion that's going to come in. Because the Lasmosaur is going to be... Oh, it has to go for two to kill me anyway. Oh. <gasps> Sweet! That means it's only has one block, and I may be able to kill it in three. Oh, look, it's so, uh, there you go. And ah, uh, uh, yeah, take it. <laughs> I'm a Coprion, here we go, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you die in two hits. So that's not so good. Uh, you know what it is? I'm gonna switch out to you, Moon, and I'm gonna make sure that we do an eight attack with Hannah Coprion. We can we can get it back for the next battle. We're gonna use it every battle. Don't worry. Uh, and I kind of want to make it level forty. We'll see. I do have a free like, um, hatch, but at the same time, I've, I've still got to do three more. So if that's like two, that's 6,000 basically, 6,000 bucks. Um, so I'm going to go for four here and, oh, I should have went for eight. Ah, should have went for four reserve, not four blocks. Okay, well, I mean, I'm only going to have seven then. 
Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Okay, I'm gonna have to go for four reserve. And then three block. We don't die. I can switch in the Hanacoprion. Go for seven. Uh, even if we don't actually, you know, if he blocks and we don't hit him for seven, at least we gotta see the animation. So let's see a switch in. Let's see the switch in, shall we? I think I already did it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know that very good. Okay, so... 1,200 damage, but that's nerfed a little bit. So here's its uh, eight attack. I think we've seen it all before. Yes, it's kind of like... Meh. Oh, we got a close-up of it, though. <laughs> oh. Looks like it's just gonna gum you to death. It's only got, like, a couple of teeth at the bottom. <laughs> I like it. I like its color. I like the design. It's it's like sharp. It's meant for speed, streamline, like a Mako shark or something. It's something that, like, if I saw that and that was discovered, I'd be like, yeah. Or like some 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 prehistoric documentary was like, and this is the Hynacoprum related to the thing. I'd, I'd, I'd believe it. I'd 100% believe it. Um, so, let's have a look at it. Where is it? Hynacoprum. So, 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 so. I'm very tempted. Uh, oh, I don't have any- Oh, never mind, I don't have enough DNA! I- I wasn't even paying attention to my DNA. Oh! Okay, maybe, maybe not. Maybe we just don't do it. Well, we can buy it back. We can buy it back each time, you know, refresh it. I've got, like, four, like, instant recharges to use. And we've only got two more battles anyway. So we may as well use the Ostafrikathoreth. Yes. da 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 Yes, and you, aren't you beautiful? Right, one, two, three, four, five, yes. I think we got this. This one's an easy one. It'll probably be like a timeline at the end. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do two. So yeah, it could be a timeline. It could be a timeline. It is a timeline. Oh, 115! That's an odd number. Okay, fair enough. And it literally was. No, I'm sending Owen. I don't care anymore. Right, okay, so we're gonna do this. <gasps> They've got their own! Oh, twinsies! Right, okay, uh, we could spend 248 bucks on it, but we could just use an instant recovery. So, sort of, let's do an instant recovery. Actually, it's really good! Heck yeah! J Wait, Jillicus is back? Didn't we just use Jillicus? Or do we fight against the Jellicus? We fought against the Jellicus. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to go for one reserve right in the bat. Uh, worst case scenario, he switches to his own Hynacoprion. Oh, he does! Oh, yes! Oh, we got to see it like come in from the other way. That's cool. I like it. I like it. Right, okay. So I kill you in two hits, and then I'll block for one, making sure that you can only do one damage. So it's dead, and then a block. Yes! And we also got to see it's two attack. So we've seen it's one to two. It's five to six. It's seven to eight. And I think it's three to four. It's just like the snaps. Like it's um, 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 um. So, I mean, we'll showcase it anyway. Uh, oh, it did go for two. Oh, no. Well, it went for two out of its... Oh, no, it did. It went for everything. Okay. Um, you know what? I could probably be killed in two hits here. So, I'll just go for a reserve. Oh, should I go for three? Sod it. Let's go for... Let's do the three to four. Yeah, let's see. So, I think it's like... Nom, 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 nom. Oh, it's a headbutt. Oh. That nose. It's like me. That's what I do. When I walk down the street and I want to attack someone, it's... Mm. <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, my eye! I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay. Go on, Jillicus. We got it. Yes. I just do that voice for most things, to be fair. Oh, Archelon. Died. did. Uh, oh, oh, we've already seen. We've, we, we don't care. Look, uh, the Hynacoprion or whatever died. Okay, here it is. And it's all rares. How, super rares. However, they are pretty deadly. So, it's a it's a balanced team. Um, we... Man, I thought it will not use them. We'll just use our best creatures. You know what? Yeah, we're going to do that, that, and that. Yep, yeah, because I'm not going to use aquatic creatures again for a long time. So, we may as, use, may as well use our best creatures. So, what's he going to put in here? A surface. He could switch into Prognathodon. I like Prognathodon. It's one of those early um, aquatic creatures, but it's level 40 design is pretty cool. I still like it. It could maybe do a little bit of work. More like polys, a bit more rocks on it. Because it's it's supposed to look like a coral reef, I feel. That was one of my... Uh, well, actually, when I was in uni, um, in first year, 
I'll be honest, I didn't really study too much. And I was, I was, I was kind of just like gliding by. It was like, you know, first year of uni, didn't really know what to expect. I was like, ah, I'll just not really try, you know, kind of just eh, wing it. Um, which led to uh, something that changed everything, basically. Uh, so we, 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 what we were supposed to have done was think of ideas for an animation, like metamorphosis, something changing into something else, right? Um, which it doesn't sound too hard, and that's what I thought. It didn't sound too hard. I can use a couple of something like that. But you're supposed to base it on like an, a piece of artwork or a, or a book or, or something like that. I didn't. I just winged it. And I was like, okay. Uh, so I stood up in front of everyone because you had to do that. You had to go in front and present. Um, and I didn't have any pre present, pre like presentation or anything. I literally just stood up and talked. But everyone else had like a PowerPoint and showed things. Um, whereas I was like, right. Um, so my first idea, right, is a turtle. Right? It's, it's swimming in the ocean. Then it sort of, it, it, it breaks the surface of the ocean. And as it does, like mold and moss start growing on it and then that turns into buildings and structures and then the turtle goes back underneath the water and the waves and it all washes away and my second idea oh, is uh, uh, a pine cone on a tree it falls down and as it falls it turns into a traffic cone it lands on the street and then my third idea was um what was it? Oh, it was it was just like a flying fish. It was like a fish swimming and then it, it jumps out, sprouts wings and flies away. And um, my lecturer, he sort of turned to me. Like, I mean, he's been listening to me the whole time. And you could tell that he, he thinks that I'm this kid who's not going to try and, and whatever. Because I think another lecturer had this impression of me. Um, which, fair enough, like, 100% is, is, is warranted. Uh, Hyneria, yes, 500 and there we go. We got another Hyneria. But really, it's the VIP points and the books are after. That's where the money is. Um, so, to end the story, before we go, I, uh... Are we good? Hello? Um... Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Okay, there we go. Okay, so to end the story, um, he turned to me, well, he turned to me and he said, you know, Those might be uh, possibly the worst ideas I've ever heard. Um, and just everyone in, the, everyone in the room just let out like a little <gasps> like you just heard like the intake of air like <gasps> and I remember just stood there and just having that cold sweat come over me and go oh no <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was brilliant. Anyway, every, like when it came to hand in, uh, everyone thought that like I had like a personal vendetta because I turned in something that was because it was only supposed to be a couple of seconds, like like ten to ten to twenty seconds, but I turned in something that was like a, a minute and a half. Um, and I remember asking the lecturer, I was like, "If is it okay if I, s I let in something that's a minute or turn in something that's a minute?" He said, "As long as it doesn't feel like it's a minute." And I was like, "Oh, okay, cool." And like. I, I really put in, because once I got that, once I was told off like that, I was like, nah, nah, I'm trying. I'm actually going to try. I'm going to try this. And I did. Um, and everyone was like, um, wow, you showed him. <laughs> it was just like, wow. Yeah, it was just like vendetta you had with Hugo, right? Uh, but I know I put a lot of effort with that. Um, looking back at it, it was, it's not very good. <laughs> but for the first time using like a 3D software, it was all right. It was all right. But I, I, was, I was pretty proud of it. And I don't think anyone else, it was different. Most people just put like something transforming into something else which is what the brief was but i was like nah i'm i'm having a story <laughs> but anyway guys there you go story time in your podcast with the game people who enjoyed it leave a like and until next time i'll see you cues later try hard bye